Walk is like, when we talking rap, Walk is, you got rap friends, niggas be rap friends and shit. Walk is my real partner. Close your eyes and visualize, cat is customized. 84's poking right by the body of a homicide. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, so yeah. man, when you think about like the the song, you just did a song like uh, a while back with Sauce and Zero Nim. Uh -huh. Um, what was that like, propane? Like H Town. It's H Town ho. A new slab was all they ever known to grind for. Niggas dropping foes up in their cook. Man, that uh that remix. Yeah, so just to date it back, so walk is like when we talking rap, walk is you got rap friends, niggas be rap friends and shit. Walk is my real partner. Close your eyes and visualize, cat is customized. 84's poking right by the body of a homicide. You know what I'm saying? Like, outside of rap, that's like my real homeboy. Then Zero was my favorite Houston rapper that I used to idolize growing up. I'm from Houston where we rather jam out of town. Nigga shit instead. If we don't congratulate, we hate on the niggas getting bread. So then me and him end up getting like really, really cool. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So them, that's a song with like two of my partners. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like real partners. Walk was a nigga who came to me when nobody knew who he was, bro. He wow. was just on the come up and it, my partner brought him to my studio and I'll never forget this nigga was just telling me what he was about to do in the rap game, how he about to sauce the world up. And I remember just being like, who the fuck is this nigga? And what is he talking about? He tripping. Like, he he had spilled something. He was like, man, sauce apology, bro. And I was like, this nigga really serious about this sauce shit? But wow. as he kept talking to me, I'll never forget that night. As he kept talking to me, this nigga was selling me. He was, I was like, by the end of that conversation, I was like, damn, this nigga might is fit to sauce the world up. And I'm going to tell y'all some crazy shit. Everything that nigga told me that night, that was in 2013, 2014, some shit. Man, that nigga did every single thing he told me he was going to do, bro. Everything, bro. He told me everybody was going to be stealing his lingo. Everybody was, was going to be talking about, about they that. dripping. They going to be talking about. He told me all this, bro. I, I, I was about to ask you about that because a lot of people, he he always step up and say, man, I did this first, man. Nigga trying to steal the sauce, steal man, the drill. I came with the word first. You be doing that shit first, you, you be looking at it and that seeing nigga it. That nigga an innovator, bro. I, I watched it all happen in my face. I watched this nigga build all this shit in my face. They used to record out my studio. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I, was, I watched it. Like, I watched this nigga. And can't nobody take nothing from him. And I, whenever I tell that story, bro, I always make it clear. Propane is not responsible for nothing that Walk did. Like, that nigga was going to pop whether or not I was taking him on the road with me, letting him open up or not. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That nigga had it. That I was sold the first time I talked to him. That That's nigga was destined to be one of the greatest niggas to do this shit. That's crazy that that... that that you was able to see and witness yeah. all that, and you were already excelling, man. That's just, that, uh, I love sure. to see you niggas, y'all niggas love to get sure. money. I love and, it, bro. And that's, you know that's what I'm my, saying? That's my brother, bro. And one thing I can say about Walk, bro, is that nigga have always returned the gratitude, bro. He is not one of them niggas who, he, he don't mind telling you that story that I just told you. Yeah. He going to tell you on his own. He going to show saying? love. He going to show love, bro. He going to pay homage. Like, and that's, Man, I got too much love for Walk, bro. I got to get him on the show. I hadn't got a chance. I, I went back and forth a little bit with him. Um, I know it's going to happen because we're going to keep working. Yeah, we're going to make that call. You know what, what I'm saying? We're going to we gonna make the call. Yeah, because right? cause it's something. I, it's been so many different people. Like, man, you got to get Walk on there. You got to yeah, get Walk. Because he for the culture and you for the culture. Yeah, like, man. Yeah. Love. And Texas, man. I'm a Texas nigga from the dude through. Texas, yeah, and that's what we I know. Texas, so we Texas like, niggas. We believe in <laughs> Texas shit. Like, for sure. It's serious, bro. For sure. And so just to see him and the way that he have activated this thing where everybody getting to be a part of something that he yeah. built is getting yeah. bigger and bigger. Niggas yeah. is walking up, wanting to be a part of I just had Brad Wanna Kane on my show. Yeah. He just signed to the yeah. MTSL, mm -hmm. you know, just to do some stuff with him. Like, he's opening a door where he's embracing the culture, and that's yeah. what I'm about. I tell people this all the time when we're talking about walk, um, and some people may think it's a crazy comparison, but... What he is to Houston right now is what Screw was in the 90s, bro. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.